All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to align your normals to a curve. All right, so this is pretty useful when you wanna copy stuff along the curve or maybe made a racetrack or something that needs to flow along the curve. So there's, I'm gonna show you three ways and all these ways work for different things. So it's not that one is better than the other, it's just to so just choose whatever works for your project. So let's go, let's, let's see the first, the sort way. In the sort way, we just take a curve we need to convert it to polygons, of course, because we need to work on the uh, actual points. So what we do with the sword, and we shift uh, the points by 1 or minus 1, doesn't matter. This is going to dictate the direction, actually. So let's offset it by 1. You can see the points. If I disable this, 0 is here, 1, 2, 3, 4. And if I enable it, now zero is here, so just shifting the points one space. So it zero starts here now. Now, if I take the original curve and this one that is shifted, this very simple expression just subtract the point position from the uh, from this end from this input and the first input for all three positions in the normals. I'll just create normals pointing in that direction. With this add, I just remove the geometry and just keep the points so you can see clearly see the normals pointing along the curve. Even the last point works, it points to the first one. So if you want to reverse the direction, just flip this number, minus one, and then the direction now goes the other way. All right, now in the edge direction, it's pretty simple as well. Again, we take the curve, and uh, let's just don't use this reverse for now in this point uh points up again this points up you go to the uh, force tab here and you say add edge force that's all you need to do here this will create two parameters edge direction and edge force here and edge direction creates uh the the normal that we need actually along the curve so if we just take something like an attribute rename and rename attribute direction to the normal now you can see the normals are pointing along the curve again if we just use an add to visualize that you can see these normals are are actually I think is they are normalized along the curve and the last one is not pointing to the first one which is something that you might want the the last point to just copy along follow along the, the curve and if you want to reverse this just use a reverse up here before you do the uh, edge direction you can see I'm just flipping that you can see the f the last point keeps going along the curve that's something you might need and the third option here it's the polyframe and it's something that I've been using more lately again we have the same thing converting everything to polygons the polyframe here by default it's something like here like, let's create it again polyframe polyframe you can see by default has these settings so what I do is just uncheck that in the tangent name I change it to the normal and I this value here the style just set it to first edge and that just aligns everything to the edges that's pretty very fast way to do it you can see again if we use an add to visualize you can see the normals are going flowing along the curve pretty nicely and again if you choose a reverse here at the top you can just reverse the direction pretty simple and fun all right so that's it i'll show you three ways to align your normals along a curve i know you guys might have your own tricks so if you have some tricks please go to the community and share it thank you for listening Thank <laughs> you.